Welcome to Cooking with the Kelsey's. Today we're making this creamy sausage and potato soup. This soup was so good, y'all. Very, very easy to make. After you chop up everything, you're just dumping everything in the crock pot and going on about your business. Now, it does take a good three and a half to four hours for this to cook, you know, for the potatoes to soften. Don't be like me and start preparing this at four o'clock because we had a late dinner, but it all worked out and it was worth the wait. Now, your first step is to wash and peel your potatoes. I peeled, washed and peeled about eight to 10 potatoes. We do have a family of seven, so I had a lot of people to feed, but it's up to you about with how many potatoes you want to use, okay? So after you wash it and peel your potatoes, you're gonna start cutting them. I do not like to cut anything, guys. I don't mind cooking at times, but I'm so scary with the knife for some reason. Well, I know why, because I normally cut myself, but this time I did not cut myself. So the only thing I'm doing here is just dicing up my potatoes. I do recommend to dice them as small as possible because they will cook faster. So some of my potatoes were softened like in two to three hours, and some of them were not because I did not cut the potatoes evenly. So if you have better cutting skills than I do, Go ahead and try to cut, dice your potatoes as small as possible. Or hey, you can buy a bag of potatoes that's already diced up. You know what I'm saying? All right. Secondly, you're going to cut your sausage. So um, this is just pole sausage and I just cut them up. And I cut them up to um, uh, about like, a, what would we say, about a quarter size each one of them, you know. And it worked out perfectly within the soup because I wanted my sausage to be bigger than the potatoes because I wanted the sausage to um, stand out because of course I had way more potatoes than sausage. Then you're gonna go ahead and get you some cream of chicken here. I just got the great value cream of chicken and you're gonna pour that into a mixing bowl or whatever bowl you can find. And then don't judge my can opener y'all. I love this can opener. When I first met my husband and you know we started living together and all that stuff, I was like, why is the can opener so raggedy? And then he was like, look, this can opener outlasts every can opener that I've ever had. So, you know, I went to buy a can opener and then lo and behold, the can opener that I bought broke and I bought another one and the other one broke. So this is our old faithful. Hey, it's been hanging on about 13, 14 years. So it's all good. Secondly, you're going to add two cups of whole milk or whatever type of milk you want to use into your cream of chicken mixture. So you have your cream of chicken and then you're going to add your two cups of milk and you're gonna mix everything all together. Okay, that's just my doorbell that's hooked to my phone. So hey, it's just making a little bit of noise. So after we put our milk in there, we're gonna mix it all together. Add in some seasonings. I had to go to the cabinet and hurry up and give me some seasonings. And then just mix, 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 mix until it all looks like the same color. You know, like you can't see your milk separated from your cream of chicken anymore. And you can add whatever seasonings that you want into your mixture. So I have like my staple seasonings that I just put in everything. That's normally seasoning salt, Italian seasoning parsley oregano and garlic powder what about y'all comment below like your go-to seasons like it doesn't matter what you cooking but those things have to be in your food so like if i don't put nothing else in my food i know i'm gonna put those three to four items inside of my food and um it always tastes good okay now since we have all of our seasonings mixed and blend we're gonna get two cups of cheese and i just use this great value Fiesta brand cheese. Um, you can use whatever type of cheese you want or you can skip cheese. So you add your two cups in and then you just start mixing everything together inside of your crock pot. Okay, so I have my crock pot. My crock pot is so, so old. My mama gave this to me when she got a new one like 10 years ago. But look, it's still working, so I'm still using it. So I put my potatoes in, and then I decided, hey, I'm going to put half of my cream of chicken and milk mixture, and then I'm going to 
put in my sausage and um, do my other half because I just want it to be real nice and creamy all throughout the whole bowl, if that makes any sense, you know? I want to make sure all everything like seeped down to the bottom and I didn't have like creamy potatoes at the top and then hard dry potatoes at the bottom. Okay, so I'm mixing it, mixing it, mixing it. And then like when I went back to look at this video, I was just like, why did I use that little bitty spoon? Like we have a lot of spoons, y'all. And I used the tiniest spoon, I believe. Well, besides my baby spoons, that was a tiny spoon. But the smallest um, spoon that I could find. But you know what? Look, I was probably just thinking, let's just get it done. And that's what I had on hand and that's what I used. So anyway, we have it all mixed together. We're going to add our cheese on the top and then we're going to do some more uh, mixing. And yeah, I'm using my hands, but hey, your hands are, you can use your hands sometimes. Ain't nothing wrong with that. And mixing and mixing and mixing just to make sure that everything is mixed together. So everything will be yummy and creamy and tasty all throughout the soup. Okay, so I have everything in the crock pot. I set it for four hours and it did take four hours for these potatoes to soften. So like I said at the beginning of the video, please don't be like me and start making this at four o'clock or later in the afternoon unless you plan on having this like the next day, you know. But if you want to have it for dinner that night and you want to have dinner at a nice time, um, prepare earlier. So all together, like the prep was probably like... 15 to like 30 minutes now it could take you a shorter time but you know I did have a one and three year old which you could see on the camera they were like at the bottom of my feet playing with the dishes and getting into everything but anyhow I hope you enjoyed this video my children love the soup my little daughter there she's claimed she don't like cheese she didn't even know the cheese was in it until she saw me editing this video and she was like mama you gave me cheese I was like oh girl you you didn't even know you liked it so anyhow, so everybody liked it. And like I said, I hope you try it. And thanks again for watching us. Bye.